hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be looking at another committee document and that is called the chairman's agenda now this is a specially prepared agenda that contains details that assist the chairman in conducting the meeting we would have looked at the agenda in a previous video and today we are going to be looking at the other type of agenda, the chairman's agenda. And the only difference between the two is that the chairman's agenda will now have an extended part to the right of the agenda for the chairman to make notes during the meeting. All right. Um, throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you three different formats that a person can type an agenda in but bearing in mind that when you're typing or most of the times you'll be doing this for your portfolio piece etc that you're just going to be following the piece that you are typing from all right the document that you're typing from you're going to follow that layout or you may change it to suit whatever layout however if you're in an exam situation then you will just follow the format that is assigned by that exam paper all right so i'm going to teach you um three formats as well as two layouts for each. So I'm gonna look at each format and look at the blocked style and the indented style for each. All right, so let me just scroll down on this paper, on this page rather, and let us start. All right, so the first format that we're gonna use is the simplest one, and I would have, um, copied something to my clipboard that I'm going to use All right, so here it is so we start off with this we care careers association so that is my main heading followed by a double space and the subheading Clarendon division and a triple space then notice is given meeting of we care careers association to be held on Monday the 26th of September 2020 in room 198, third floor of the Teachers Educational Building, St. Gallimore College, 120 Main Street, Maypen, Clarendon. All right, then I have a triple space and the heading, Chairman's Agenda, followed by notes. All right, so that will be to the side. So I can maybe carry that over a bit. Notes. Now I'm going to be listing my agenda items. I'm going to have a double space, which is to enter the press the enter key twice. All right, and then I start. Now note that I did not go through the formalities of typing once you enter Microsoft Word, but that must always be at the back of your head. All right. Once it is that you open Microsoft Word, select no spacing, Times New Roman, font size twelve. And adjust your margins accordingly all right that must be done by default uh, moving on from that I have um, so we've typed the notice that we're going to go to the agenda section how is that going to be done so I'm going to start off by writing or typing my numbers I'm going to start off with one and I'm going to put two spaces bearing in mind that this is the block style and with the block style let me go back we can have numeral one like that we can have one bracket or we can have open bracket one bracket all right and then two spaces after numeral then we'll start our typing but i'm just going to use one do my two spaces and then i start typing so this is going to be call to order all right now i am going to set a tab at three inches all right and when i set the tab at three inches i'm going to put the information for the notes to the right of the document now how do i access the tabs i can do one of two things i can go where the three is the three inches is located on the ruler bar and I can double click and the tabs dialog box will come up or right in the same line where like the tab where the cursor is I just right click and I go to paragraph once the paragraph dialog box is open I will go to the bottom left and select tabs and there you have the tab dialog box obviously double clicking on the ruler bar is quicker 
all right so it says tab stop position is at three inches and that's where i would have clicked on the ruler bar and that's what i want it, the alignment is a left is left align and that's what i want all right and then no leader that we don't focus on this here so just focus on setting the, the, the tab the inches that we want and we select set and press ok and that's it so if you realize now on the ruler bar there is a when I hover over it it says a left tab alright and that's what I want so when I press the tab key on my keyboard it should take me straight over to the three inches I'm gonna press that now and there it is once I get there then I'll write the numeral one and that will be it all right I'm gonna enter twice and then I'm gonna continue with that so my numeral two all right and I do my two spaces and then I have my next heading invocation and I'm gonna press tab and it takes me over again and I write two. Now the benefit or the importance of setting that tab is that everything will start at that point. So I will not have some of the information being at three, some being at 3.25, etc. and all over the place and it's not in a straight line. When you set your tabs, it allows information to be in a straight line for you to do what it is that you're doing. All right, and I think you get the hang of this. All right, I did not have to use the numbering in this way. All right, I could have gone on the ruler bar and I selected the numbering icon and I would have gotten it. However, when I do that, I would have to make some adjustments. All right, so I chose to do it like this three, two spaces, and then I'm going to write the next setting. welcome and a poor apology all right and that's it all right now here is the finished product of that so this is a block style we care careers association the information is there and check out all the information coming down and that's it Please note that when I'm listing anything, as in um, number five here, matters are rising from the minutes, and I'm listing anything, club members inactive, club member inactive, secretary return, that information is immediately under the first word, or the first letter in the first word. So if I use the dash, the dash is immediately under the M. If I used um, Roman numeral one, it would be exactly under the M. If I use a letter, it will be exactly under the M. Then I have my two spaces and then I'll have the information. When I get to this section over here, I can also have the dash for the information. All right. But in this case, I decided to leave that out. So this is how it would look for the block style. Let me go from the top again. Everything being flush to the left margin and bear in mind that with the block style, the date is in a particular format, day, month and year. All right, so let me highlight that for you to see day, month, and year. All right, going down with the document, everything is aligned to the left. Also, with the figures, they do not carry a full stop. Once it carries a full stop, that will take us now into the indented style that I'm now going to show you here. So with the indented style, the headings are centered. All right, I highlight them and you don't tab over to the center. Never you do that. You highlight them and you select center alignment. Okay, and then note also that for my notice, my paragraph is also indented because it is the indented style. So the paragraph is indented to 0 0.5. All right, and note now that my date has now changed in format to month, day, year. All right, and that's for the notice. Let me get down to the agenda section. And I have chairman's agenda. I did not start it off from the margin. I tapped over a bit. All right, so it started at 0 0.5 inches. And also the information following. Note now that they now have the full stop after each number. All right, 
now two things can be done here and I want you to know this all right what I did was that I indented the numbers and why I indented the numbers because I wanted it to match my paragraph here that was indented all right no bearing in mind that whenever we're typing anything in the indented style right the numbers are normally indented as well and that's why I did this here so I also indented my numbers and allowed everything to start at 0 0.5 okay now I must say at this moment that this is not a necessity it doesn't have to happen this way all right other persons may be accustomed to starting the numerals from the margin, but to have the full stops after them, and that is an indicator of the indented style. So I can choose to change this and then take it over to the margin. All right, so it will look something like this. And so once you see this still in the margin with the numbers. And the footsteps are there you know that it is the indented style and that's how you can do it for the agenda or the chairman's agenda all right but I chose to indent it but it's based on your preference if you are a teacher you will select which method you want to follow and do that with your students if you're a student you will look at this and follow the method that your teacher is teaching all right hopefully it is one of the two if it's anything apart from this then you know you need to make the adjustments but do not say to the teacher that because you see it this way it is the way all right follow what the teacher is saying all right so this is how it will look for the indented style all right and as i said the numbers for the indented style can start in the margin and have the full stops or they can be indented to go along with the paragraph okay now I'm going to show you another format so that's format number one let me go back to my clipboard and I'm going to select another format all right so here I have another chairman's agenda so this one now is May pen residents association that's my main heading I then have a triple space and I proceeded to the notice very short right meeting to be held in the sky hotel or at the sky hotel on tuesday 27 november 2020 at 7 30 pm then it starts off chairman's agenda note however that this word here is written in space capitals all right how do i get space capitals what should i do it is one space between letters and three spaces between words all right and that is your space capitals then i have a double space so that is entering twice so that's one two all right it is a normal so let me select no spacing all right so that is it and then i can start my typing so for this one i'm going to start off with um numeral one and also please ensure times new roman font size 12 that's not what is there now so let me quickly make that adjustment all right, so go again, numeral one, two spaces, then I type my heading. Apologies for absence. All right, so now we have the heading, apologies for absence. The next thing that we're going to do is to set a bracket. I'm going to set my bracket at three inches. So I'm going to double click on that um three inch and the tabs box will come up dialog box will come up rather see three inches there I'm going to select set and press OK all right so the cursor is there blinking I'm going to put my bracket then I'm going to put two spaces after that and put my numeral one I'm going to enter twice for double space numeral two and I'm going to continue all right now some cases are in some chairman's agenda you will instead of having numeral two right away you may they may have some information about that heading apologies for absence all right so i'm going to start that information immediately under the a right so i'm going to write um 
just a little sentence about something relating to persons who are absent so vice chair So you realize now that I can't, let me press the tab and put the bracket. I can't go any further, all right? So I have to press enter and put that information immediately under the V, but doing well, all right? Now these brackets should go be in a straight line coming down, no spaces. So here I would have had a space, I would have need to press my tab key and put a bracket there even though nothing is in that row right for i'm at well i press the tab key put a bracket i will cover it every line this should be a common w and we need to look out for that whenever we go into another line all right so that is the first one then i'm going to press enter and put my numeral two my two spaces and then i will continue with the next heading all right, there should be a double space between that. Well, let me quickly show you what the finished product for this would look like. All right. All right, so here I have the finished product. This is the blocked style chairman's agenda, the main heading, a triple space, the notice, the word chairman's agenda being flushed. Everything is flushed to the left margin. All right. Um, apologies for absent vice chair in the chair. Um, for this one, instead of putting it at three inches, I place it at three point five, which will give more room to write information. So everything here is placed in one line. All right. So it's based on where you want to put it. Right. You can choose to use three inch or three point five to do yours. All right. But this is how the finished product would look. Right? And please note that the information does not start under the numerals. Uh, we do that for legal document. It is not done for the other documents. All right. And coming straight down. So the main headings, minutes of meeting, matters arising, etc. The main headings, they are in all capitals for this example. But they can also be in initial capitals and underlined or initial capitals and bold. All right, it's based on the question that you are typing, okay? And that's all it is. So they should stand out. The example before did not have any information. It just had the headings. So it doesn't make any sense. You put everything in all caps or bold everything. But once the information comes into play, the headings need to stand out from among the rest of the information. All right? And this is how it will look. Let me quickly go down to look at the indented style so here we have the indented style the heading is in the center the meeting that which is a notice that also is tapped over and starts at 0 0.5 inches all right um the date is in the wrong format here so we need to ensure it's november 27 comma all right so the date is in the correct format the word chairman's agenda is there in the center all right and please note that some questions will have notes being a part of that heading to show that the information to the right is notes or it may have the word additional notes or it may not have anything at all but you know as a chairperson that that's what you're supposed to be doing to that side of the document all right and this is how the indented style will look again i would have indented my my information here starting at 0 0.5 inches but you do not have to do that you can flush everything to the margin but have the full stops after your numerals all right and that's it now the final one that i'm going to show you all right so this is the final one all right so it's called bromwell's voluntary careers association so that's my main editing my sub editing is in any caps and bold then i have a triple space at the body of the document not the body the notice all right followed by the chairman's agenda all right that part for the chairman to look at all right so this is now in normal 
So I'm going to select no spacing, put my double space, and then I can start my typing. Now for this section, I need to set my tabs. All right, so how do I set the tabs? I'm just going to show you how I do that. For example, all right, so I'm going to set the tab. I'm going to set the tab at three inches. All right, so a tab is at three inches, but the tab that is on three inches, I want a straight line to come down on the page. And so I'm going to, that is called a bar. All right, so I'm going to set a bar tab. So I'm going to, instead of left a line that I've been using all along, I'm going to select bar. All right, when I select bar, I'm going to press set and press OK. And a line will come up on the screen. There is a line. So as I press enter and I go down on the page, a line will come into the document all right I'm also going to go at 3.13 which is the first line after the three right so at 3.13 I'm going to select set and press ok what I want to happen at 3.13 is that I'm going to be inserting my numerals so when I press tab it will take me there and I will put numeral one Then I go down then I have numeral 2, I press tab, then I write my 2, right, realizing that as I'm going down, that bar is coming down with me, all right, I forgot to put the 3 a while ago, 3, all right, and likewise for the one that I did prior, I could have set another, in, um, the numerals, I could have set a second tab after that, and put the numerals when I press it it will give me the first one to put the bracket then I press it again and it will take me here and I put my numbers all right four and that's it so let me quickly show you what this finished product will look like all right so here it is all right and that has all the see the straight line coming down that's a bar all right using the bar tab no no for matters arising from minutes i would have had letters here a club member inactive b secretary's report and i chose not to put that here over the side that is called notes all right to align with the information there okay that's why you're seeing it like that and that's the blocked style for you quickly scoot down to the indented style all right so you know for the indented style that the heading is in the center double space between main and sub triple between sub and body then i have this heading initial caps and on the line and the one above is in initial caps and bold the information or the first line in a paragraph should start at 0 0.5 inches thus the term indented the date must be in a specific format may 26 2020 chairman's agenda that heading must be in the center if there's nothing else attached to it all right and the information is here again all right this was a mouthful today but i do hope that you would have appreciated it all right so i showed you three different ways of doing the chairman's agenda all right i do hope that you pick the style that you like and you work with that for your e, um your edpm portfolio again when you're going on exam whatever one you are given you should be able to do it as you i showed you three ways here all right and then well and how to do it so if you're going on exam situation you should know how to do anyone that is given to you all right thanks for watching and please do not forget to like to share and to subscribe to my channel to help me to get my word out there to other persons all right and also if it is that you have any topic that you like me to look at that i have not yet done please leave that in the comments and also leave a comment to let me know how this video has assisted you with your studies all right or your teaching thanks for watching and see you all in my next upload